Hello everybody on the Cerverium forums, my name is Arctic Duck and this is going to be a very quick tutorial on how to get sweet effects up and running in your game with optimal settings so you get the best performance. So these are the two files you're going to need, but first things first, we're going to be dealing with this file which is the actual sweet effects files, so just we'll worry about this one later. Um, all links will be in the form post, I will make sure they're clear and you can get them. So let's work on this file first, so open the link and you'll come to this website. The file you're going to need is this 1.5.1 x64 64-bit computer supported sweet effects shader. You're going to want to download it and yep uh, I already have downloaded so we'll just do that and once you get the file it's going to look like this or if you've written more it might look like a stack of books. I like 7-zip. So use your uh, extractor or whatever and get the fo folder file out of it and uh, in the folder, you're going to find these files. These are the core files of SweetFX. Um, I'll show you where you're going to put that. Uh, go to Computer, whatever hard disk you have Servarium on. I have it on my C drive. Go to Program Files or whatever it's installed on. Find your Servarium folder. Go to Game, Binaries, x86. And this is the area where you're going to put the, the, the sweet effects files, these ones. So, simple as this, you're just going to copy all these. Just simply drag them over and drop them right in. Yes. Where are you? Okay, there we go. Once that's done, you have sweet effects pretty much installed, except for the one thing that's going to help make the game look nice, which is a preset. So, what you're going to do, delete this sweet effects settings right here. Delete the one that you, tran that you just dropped in. So now that's gone out of the way. Um, look for the link for this my sweet sweet effects settings. This is the one that I made and went through and took the time to create for this game specifically to get more colors out of the game, make it look a little bit sharper, nicer, n less mundane basically. All you're gonna do is once you get this, just simply take it, drop it right in. Boom! You are completely done. Uh, start up your game. Uh, make sure if you're running this through Steam, do not have Steam Overlay on. They do not agree. Fraps does also not agree with this. So let's show you some uh, some gameplay. Okay, uh, now we're in game, and uh, I'm just going to go over some quick settings that you can do in graphics to boost some frame rate because this will uh, take off about seven, eight, ten frames per second depending on the map you play on and the graphical settings. Uh, I currently play on Ultra with a couple things down and I average probably about 54 FPS. So right now, uh, go into settings, uh, graphics. Okay, turn anti-aliasing off because SweetFX, uh, I made it to where it would use SMAA anti-aliasing to make it look nice and sharp. Um, leave all this. I have everything on Ultra except for decoration quality, I have low. Can I put that in low? No, I can't. Uh, post processing minimal, uh, particle quality low, and motion blur off. Uh, with these off, I really didn't find that much of a difference in how the game looked graphically. So, yeah, and uh, they helped me get a better frame rate because usually I was getting about 45 with all that up, and now I'm about 54 in game. Also, one quick thing before we start up the game, um, I made it to where. The addition sign on the numpad, if you press it, you can turn it off uh, on the fly. So off, on, off, on. All you gotta do is press it. So uh, let's get in the game. So now we see that we're in game. Uh, I'm getting a pretty decent amount of frame rate. I'm boarding at about 55 right now. And uh, this is what the game looks like with it on. Scope. A little bit of running around. Here, let me do an example. Just turn it off. This is the normal. Is it on? And it doesn't affect gameplay, from what I found. Uh, there's a slight purple glimmer on the scope, but other than that, it's pretty regular. So, uh, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, I hope you like this, and I hope you enjoy the enhancements. So, uh, yeah, thanks.